bees have the advantage, a heat tolerance two degrees above that of their enemy. At 46 degrees Celsius, the aggressor is roasted alive. The honeybees fan an alarm pheromone through the air. This alerts the whole hive to the hornet's presence. But unlike the European bees, these Japanese bees do not attack. Instead, they lure the scout inside. Then one is caught. It's the signal the others have been waiting for. The custom of keeping wild Japanese bees is as old as society itself, and Yamaguchi has kept bees since boyhood. Japanese bees are so sensitive that it takes great patience and skill to keep them. The art of keeping them lies in understanding their behavior. They make honey stores for the winter but they also produce enough for Yamaguchi to harvest. About as big as a matchbox, and one of the most venomous insects in the world. This massive hornet can kill with its sting. They live throughout much of Asia, from India to Japan. This scout discovers a large honeybee hive and marks it with a pheromone secreted from glands in its back legs. It's a signal to attack. The pheromone attracts other giant hornets to the hive, where they begin their assault. But their success doesn't depend on their numbers. Just one of these hornets can kill over 300 honeybees in an hour. Within hours, the small troop of giant wasps slaughters almost 30,000 bees. There are so many bodies living at close quarters that the queen and her dynasty are in danger of overheating. So workers create air conditioning, keeping a steady flow of fresh air circulating. Seasons change fast up here in the mountains. 
and when autumn arrives, there are far fewer insects around. This means my hives are even more vulnerable to attack. For me, it's an anxious time. The wild bees have spent millions of years living with the enemy. That's why they alone have developed this extraordinary survival strategy.